Today I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to disable secure boot windows and in BIOS whether it's an SS BIOS, SP laptop, Dell laptop, Acer, Lenovo, MSI or motherboards such as ASRock, these are white, legacy or specific models such as Omen and SSROG. In fact, this is the exact reverse technique of what I showed you in the last video where we turned on the secure boot. Make sure to watch the video till the end so that you don't miss any important steps and get into trouble. And don't worry, this isn't gonna be the same casual windows and tips and tricks as I showed last time where we talked about the significance of secure boot, its uses, how it works and its downside. We aren't covering any of that today because we have done that already in the previous clip. This video is specifically about the actionable techniques that you can apply for how to disable EFI security boot windows then right away. But first I want to assure that secure boot is turned on so that we can turn it off later. We need to launch the windows defender in the first place. To do that place windows plus R. This will open up the run dialog box. Then type in Windows Defender in the small letters followed by colon and three slashes and finally press the enter key to launch the Windows Defender. Then click on the device security from the left hand sidebar. As you can see we have a third option here called secure boot. If this was already disabled you wouldn't find it. Anyways another way to do this is by checking the system information. Just press Windows plus R hotkey again then type MS Info 32 and press enter. As you can see under the secure boot row, it is written on next to the secure boot label. How to disable secure boot windows 10. Now it's time to make sure that secure boot is turned off by learning the steps on how to disable secure boot policy windows 10. Before you do that, make sure that all the programs are closed properly and if possible keep a backup of your data in case anything goes wrong. Also ensure that your PC is fully charged or plugged in as it may take longer depending upon your PC's performance abilities. Disclaimer. Again, I'm only sharing this video for information purpose only. You are doing these steps at your own will and risk and if anything goes wrong I will not be responsible for it. Disabling secure boot may prevent your computer from booting up properly and if you find these steps too complicated or couldn't generate the inner confidence to perform this method it's better that you consult a PC technician before you blow things off the roof. He can do it safely without having you to worry about anything. And make sure that you understand the repercussion of doing so before moving on, which I have already explained in the previous video. It is important to know that the sibling secure boot can make your computer mode vulnerable to malware and authorized software. Therefore, it is important to only disable secure boot if you have a specific reason for doing so. How to remove safe boot in Windows 10 To stop secure boot in Windows 10, you must enter the BIOS and change the settings to disable. The process for doing this varies upon your computer manufacturer and model. For most computers, it can be accessed by pressing a function key such as F2 or F12 early in the boot process. However, when our PC is already turned on, we can enter the UEFI boot settings directly. While you're on the Windows 10 desktop, open the start menu, go to power and hold down the shift key. While still holding the shift key, click on restart. Obviously, this will restart your computer but it will take you to UEFI firmware settings directly at this time. Another way to do this is by using command from. Command from method is quite easier and fast, it will directly take you to troubleshoot page. After I share this, the method will continue from the previous state. Don't worry for those who are doing any of these methods, as we will reach the same point at some stage. It's just that the previous step is a long route and command from skips a few steps directly and takes you to where you need to be exactly. Alright, here is the method to disable secure boot using command from. Press Windows plus R hotkeys to launch the run dialog box. Type in CMD. Now, instead of pressing enter directly, hold down the control plus shift and then press enter. And for those of you who are using the inbuilt keyboard on your laptop, you might have to press an additional key called function key labeled as Fn on your keyboard. Then you will have to hold it and additionally press the shift plus control plus enter. Now you will have to click on yes to grant administrative privileges. Finally we are on the command front and all you need to do is execute this command. Shut down slash r slash fw. I'll write the command on the description box as well. As soon as you do this, it will restart your computer immediately and then take you to UEFI firmware settings directly. Unfortunately, the screen recorder will not work there, so I will have to stop the recording here, but don't worry, I'll use an external recorder that is using my mobile camera, so I will see you there. How to turn off secure boot in BIOS configuration Windows 10. Alright, I'm back and we're here in the setup phase, and let's continue with our UEFI firmware settings in order to disable secure boot in Windows 10. So here are the steps to disable secure boot in Windows 10. Let's quickly navigate to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, UEFI Firmware Settings, Restart. 
and let's wait for the windows to restart now all you need to do is find the secure boot option for some model it will be under the security tab all you need to do is expand it i'm using the dell model and i have the option directly outside here so let me quickly click on this and only this time to select the disabled option i have radio buttons over here for some of you the interface might be slightly different you could see drop down or check boxes instead of radio buttons and in some models you will have the instructions and hotkey written at the bottom of the screen make sure to read them properly now let me quickly save this and exit this will automatically restart my pc and let's wait for the windows to restart and as soon as it's done windows will have to secure boot state disabled finally let's make sure that we have done everything correctly let's look up inside the windows defender program and see if we find the option there or not As you can see, there are only two options here, the third option for secure boot is missing, which means that the secure boot state is now turned off. Let's check this inside system information. Let's launch the run dialog box, type MS info 32 and press enter. As you can see it says the secure boot state is up. So these were the steps for how to disable UEFI secure boot in Windows 10 for 64 bit and 32 bit computers. But wait, there is more. How to disable secure boot Windows 10 without BIOS. Unfortunately, there is no way to disable secure boot in Windows 10 without entering the BIOS as of now. Secure boot is a security feature that is designed to protect your computer from unauthorized software and malware. It does this by only allowing software that is signed with a trusted key to boot up. The boot process is handled by the motherboard and the program associated to it is stored in the BIOS. So we cannot disable secure boot without BIOS. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of Windows 10 tips and tricks and much more. Check out this playlist of my top 10 Windows 10 tutorial and I I will see you in the next video. Take care.